Okay, guys, for game number two, we have a pretty big stomp, but we're gonna have of everything. We're gonna have stomps, so long games, comebacks, etc. Maybe even losses. The main point I want you to take from that is that whenever you're stomping early on, you have the duty to keep stomping in mid late game. Whenever you have a 1k shutdown, you have the duty to not give that 1k shutdown. You're gonna see, even if I'm dig ahead and one, two items ahead, I still respect the jungler, I still respect the rotations, I still respect the mid and support that can come to my lane. So I make sure that I bring that sweet victory back home. If you enjoyed the video, much love. Okay, guys, it's game two of the Ring to Master series. Uh, we were in silver for the first game after like well, just two games on the account. We're in gold elo, which should concern a bit more people. Um, I think statistically, there's like that's where the most people are now. In it should be around gold and platinum now that they added emerald. Uh, anyway, we're facing Fiora. She has no ignite, so I think I can afford to go D blade pretty easily. If she had ignite, I would consider maybe D shield. Uh, the runes, I talked about them during the first uh, video of the series, but I will I will show them always. Up oh, this, this, I mean, it's it's always on screen. And now let's see, we're going to do, as I said, step one, do the thinking. Step two, track the jungler. Step three, uh, know your matchup. I mean, the most important parts of it. And make your plans. So, uh, bot lane, we have scaling ADCs, like hyperscaling late game ADCs with an engaged support which is kind of weird as a combo uh, but when i see that i look at jungle and i see that jungle they have a zag that can follow up very easily mokai ganks and we have a brand so good luck bot lane like this is not looking good for my bot because what do they do to just um mokai w into zaki I, I mean i don't know it's gg uh so there is that uh, so pray for bots, and I don't think that we should play for bots, we should just pray for them. Uh, mid lane, Zoe into Syndrate can snowball pretty hard, especially because Zoe has Ignite. Uh, yeah, generally we can expect more ganks from Zac than Brent. And top lane, we're two split pushers, so let's see who splits the best. As I said, you want info on the jungler, and because I had zero info, I decided to drop a ward here. So against her, it's all about her marks and parry, I guess. So what I'm gonna do is, well, play according to them. You, you see, I was walking to her, but my mouse was on top of me because I know she wants to go for the mark. You need to know that the marks, they have a rotation that's always the same. It's like good mark, bad mark, good mark, bad mark. So it's either bottom right or top left. Ah. Okay. Oh, because she had no parry yet. Because she had no parry yet and and she traded me in my wave. That's probably what made her like lose that much HP. Uh, I could have based here actually because my wave is good. But I don't think that I need to base to be stronger. The reason is develop timers. See how I dash in when I level up. Okay, little tempo nerfs almost killed me. Now I'm gonna base. Is it still pushing to me though? There's a chance that not. I saw that Zaki stopped by the way. But there's a chance that this wave it was not too clear if it's pushing to her or me. I know that she has no TP so I wanna sure that I crash this. Okay. Can maybe look to fight this. Yeah, I know that we can because friend was stop. Mm. You can just push the way. Okay, if you want to share. You gave me you gave me a kill, I'm not gonna complain, you know. I mean, I don't want to win games through insane shenanigans, but here, like, I feel like it's, it's 
it's nothing too crazy on my end. I just like punished mistakes. Uh, something really important that I did on my first kill on Fiora is that I waited my very last auto before I queued and I, I queued after the animation of my auto because the auto damage and the crit potential is going to be taken into account uh, based on when the auto like starts so you can queue after and still get the crit and still get the big damage and you get the healing and also yeah because the lower HP you have you the more AD you have and the lower HP you have well most likely you have fury as well and then it means that you're gonna crit okay well we're starting <laughs> Being 4-0 in 4 minutes. I see that someone used the plant bots. Yeah, the moments where you're walking back to late are the moments where your eyes should be on minimap. My eyes are not always on minimap. I'm not looking at the minimap every 5 seconds like some people say. I'm looking at it when I need to look at it. Uh, so now I'm just making sure, even if it's like very likely that Zach is not top anymore. Just making sure he's not going for revenge kills. Now I'm way stronger than Fiora, so I should... Like just not be scared of her. And if she walks up for CS, that's when. Crit, nice. I'm gonna go crazy. Well, that's that's nothing too fancy. Basically, I have a big item advantage. You see how I first take the info on Zach. I don't just like randomly run at her because I have a big shutdown. Stale HP so I can push the wave faster and now I have Demolish. I didn't use Demolish the first time away because we were pre-5 minutes and before 5 minutes um, turrets have more resistance on side lanes at least uh, or on top and mid not side lanes. Top I want to do the objective. Uh, okay. I can probably help because I'm so big. But he probably doesn't need me, but I will still give some assistance. Okay, not needed. If you want to do the objective, go do the objective. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yo, just do it then. Like what? <laughs> and if, she, if she's still going to play. Okay, W is going to come from her soon. I'm just doing random movements so I can dodge the W. Okay. That may be a big stomp, not gonna lie. I mean, we'll see. I'm still like, regardless of the situation, you're very fed, you're very behind. Like, this is gonna happen sometimes. You're gonna get giga fed, etc. And you're still gonna lose the game. Um, it happened to me today in Grandmaster ELO. Like, we were 12k gold ahead. And we lost it. So we're gonna see. So the reason I'm ghosting, I probably don't need it, but I wanna kill her fast and I wanna guarantee it because I knew that Zach was bot side not too long ago. This time I don't have vision and Zach could be coming back top. I usually don't like to sell my D Blade early on. Again, I don't want to stay top and risk giving a 1k shutdown to Zach, so I'm actually gonna sell the blade for Kraken, which is an insane power spike. And it is what it is. The blade did its job, it helped me get big, and now this bad boy is gonna help me. At least big respect for Fiora, she's still playing the game. Okay. Uh there could still be Zach. That's why I'm not going too crazy. And I'm ready to flash. Basically, again, mechanics are knowledge. If I don't know that Zach could be coming top, okay, we saw we see him go from top to bottom. You see, I was looking at map because I'm waiting information. I want to know where Zach is. That's why I'm looking. Now you know where he is. I'm not gonna look for quite a long time, not gonna lie. Okay, well she was parry. Could have actually flashed on her and killed her, maybe. So now, if I look to kill her... Yeah, deny the last... Deny the last proc. Having good movements. This matchup, like, yeah, you, you need 
to not be lazy. Basically, there's some matchups like Aatrox, Aatrox matchup as well. You cannot afford to be lazy. You have to do some movements. I'm going to let her TP and finish the turret after. Once again, deny the thingy. No, I don't think I'm getting the whole turret, so I'm gonna find other ways to snowball my lead. For example, getting this. I have the plant next to me in case it's getting defended. And if not, and I see that Zack is actually bot, I would just look for wolves. No wolves. When she queues, I'm gonna go in, most likely. Okay, I, I was trying to have uh, random auto timers, so again, my auto doesn't go on her W. 10 kills at 10 minutes. We take it. And now I think that well, I probably cannot take the foot turret either. I'm just going to go for a demolish proc. And again, look for camps. Um, this looks a bit risky to me. Because I didn't see what happened with Syndra. If he's still on the map or not. And Zack is probably going to look top at some point. Now... These are spawning. I have a lot of gold. I think it's smarter to just spend them. Uh, maybe it's a better spike like to go for a two like PD as a second item spike. Oh, I guess because like if I could finish PD but not Navarre, I would probably finish PD here. But because I don't have the gold for it, I think I will go for Navarre on my next base. So there's Drake and there's Grubs, but I don't think. Um, that, for example, like, I don't care about drakes because the game is not gonna go up to a point where drakes actually matter. I'm not even, like, ghosting to kill her, even if I'm kind of ghosting to kill her. I just, like, I just don't need my ghost for anything, like, too fancy. And... I'm more like ghosting to get her out of the way of the waves and the turrets, you know. But I guess she doesn't have Tiamat, like she cannot even defend it. Okay, well, I mean, at this point, she's... Brand 0 gang Zex 4, so even in that game... Well, we're 17 and 3. They managed to complain about jungle death. <laughs> Interesting. And also, like... Whoa. Zack is ganking more than Brent. Who would have thought? Okay, now is not the time to die. This could be the time to kill. I could have just done a long E and not, and not flashed. Would have probably been smarter. But I, I didn't want to let them any... Like, probably that I did that instinctively because... Well, if he has flash and do a long E, he can he can flash and... And then I'm under turret. And maybe I get bumped again by the ult or whatever. If I just flash, like, he's just dead, you know. Okay, I'll get this, spend my gold. Now, probably that I just want to get Herald, because Herald is going to help us win the game fast. This is a good spike up, oh, big ward, because I have the gold for it. Um, but Herald is not spawning before 30 seconds, so what's going to be my way to Herald? Because if I just go straight there, I will wait for nothing. So what I'm thinking now is uh, these into well i was thinking maybe raptors but she's pushing that top wave so i have a top wave to catch now so these into top wave there's gonna be nine cs to take one two 
three. Yeah. Plus the six of the other wave. And then I just take heralds as I wanted to. And now what they do with my herald? They probably like just take me turret because it's gonna open up the map for us. It's gonna allow uh, Zoe to roam. There's also a blue buff to take. It's just still like rage splitting. They were not anymore, I guess. Rampage. Yeah, I waited for the situation in mid to be more stable, for us to have more info on more people. Or I went there. And also I got blue buff. So we should have went top here. She didn't, it's whatever. Secure the kill. Shit. Run or my day. Okay, well, I have a red buff, which is most likely their red buff, so I don't think it's up. Unless there was a, a buff transfer. But no, there wasn't because Brent is still alive. Uh, I can actually lose this. Fiora. Okay, she backed. I wanted to play it smart. I thought she was gonna like maybe Q on me. And then I dodge it. Yeah, let's not let's not give them 1k shutdown. Whenever you have a 1k shutdown, your mission is most likely to not give your 1k shutdown, you know. Uh okay, okay, okay. But they're not FFing. I have big respect for that. Now two of my teams are dead. Like there's no point in pushing that top wave. I could push the mid wave though. But they still don't have access to their jungle. Oh no. Actually, oh no. Maybe take these. I didn't. Oh yeah, I did bring it. So what's coming next? I don't really care about Drake. Uh, I most likely want to get every single like turret, get T3s. I feel like it, it's, it, it has gotten harder to just like end the, end the game like giga early when every team keeps playing. Um, maybe Bork is actually a good spy here. I mean, regarding items, I'm not gonna lie. I don't have a perfect science. It's items is the thing that I can explain the least. I mean, I can still explain it in a pretty like good good way, but there's a lot of uh, instinct and feeling to it for all them Trinamere games. Okay, or oh, she's slowed. I don't use my E because ah, shit. <laughs> Okay, that works. Yeah, we didn't understand each other. <laughs> I don't want to use my E to follow her, but then she got yunked over the wall. Um, let's see. I shouldn't have E before he gets his Q off. Twitch is one of the easiest champions to kill for a Uh Yeah, we can take in him, it's not, it's not too early. 
plus for like giga heads so usually there is kind of a rule that you're gonna hear that says that you don't want to take inhib before 20 minutes and that's not exactly true like you don't want to take inhib if it's not gonna make you win the game well, can you stop playing football with me Okay, let's just, again, like, not risk my shutdown for nothing. I just want to bring it home in a clean way. Yeah, don't worry. I want that. Take other camps so I make sure they don't come back. Like it happened to me games where like I go crazy like the game is won but then you start thinking that the game is won and then someone in your team like AFKs for 5 minutes for some reason or whatever and then the game becomes lost and at the end of it you're like bro I should have never stopped playing it seriously well, I don't wanna leave that again I was trying to dodge his Q Maoka is Pretty painful for Trent, sick as well. I mean, I guess I'm fed enough to get away without like dodging anything. Mm, could we have grouped mid and ended? Maybe. Probably. But Brent made his call and I, I will respect it. Oh shit, I'm in target champions only. This keeps happening to me. Mistake. I mean, I will put my ping down now. <laughs> That's another mistake that keeps happening to me. Okay, this can be good. I mean, at this point, I think I can afford to go Infinity Edge. Oh no, but I cannot. Yeah. Unless I can, and then I wait for this. An ally has been slain. And I will absolutely one shot uh, this case. One, two, three. Okay, well, we're gonna have big damage now. At least you are playing the game. In rage splitting, there is splitting, you know. So, so she's doing something. Let's make it a, a clean, a clean end. Let's get all the turrets, all the inhibs. Also wait for my ghost. That was pretty big damage. Okay, well, GG. Well, that was game two, pretty nice stomp. Well, I mean, there's gonna be of everything. There's gonna be comebacks, there's gonna be stomps, there's gonna be short games, long games, etc. And this was like the first game in gold, but we're gonna have, I think, three, four, five until they put me in platinum MMR. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. Next one is gonna be tomorrow same time same place until then take care of yourselves guys good luck and have fun in game and in real life and i will see you next time oh by the way we got to 1k subs on youtube thank you so much guys thank you for the support it's big okay see you bye bye <laughs>